Hello there, my Scorpio collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh my goodness, Scorpios. Mm. Situational awareness with you. Um, you avoid the drama by just basically being aware. There shouldn't be anything overwhelming with you as well, so do be mindful of that. Uh, you got the two of cups here. Oh, look. And there you are, Scorpios. Trusting your intuition on something. Um, I think that's what this is all about for you now. Uh, Scorpios. Be mindful of like the illusion and confusion type vibes on that as well. So if you've got two Scorpios, uh, damn. Be mindful you're not just sort of playing in someone's energy or like mirroring some sort of energy. Definitely be mindful like catfishing with you Scorpios. You guys always get that energy. So damn, what is this about when it comes to Scorpio? Don't get overwhelmed. So pay attention to what you need to pay attention to. This shouldn't be overwhelming. And you're going to be just fine. Quit over-dramatizing things as well. So things aren't overly dramatic. Uh, kind of pull back from that energy. The fact that someone wants you to feel like it's overly dramatic, but it, it's, it's not like that. There's the Ace of Wands. There's the Virgo vibe. So Virgo season could have been interesting with you. There's the Five of Swords. There's the Tower vibes. There's the Eight of Cups. There you are again, Scorpio. Fuck the drama. Definitely be mindful. If you're traveling, pay attention to the weather. This is like situational awareness as well. So uh, this is just being present in the moment and paying attention to what you need to pay attention to. Some of y'all, the weather... That could be astrology for you as well. I definitely feel like something switched the fuck up uh, when it comes to you, uh, Scorpios. That uh, is bringing about positive uh, opportunities, but at the same time, it's kind of moving out uh, some of that sluggish energy that you don't need. Knight of Pentacles. There's the Ten of Swords. There's the Three of Pentacles. There's the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, letting the sort of universe, letting your astrology kind of work on your behalf here. So much situational awareness. So depending upon where you're at, if you're traveling, being mindful of that energy. No unnecessary risks either. So whatever you're doing, pay attention to what you need to. So uh, like if you're going out on a boat, make sure there's no uh, storms coming in. Uh, if you're traveling, be mindful. Pay attention to what the tourists do. Uh, it's as simple as that. Someone needs you to be overwhelmed so, damn with that uh, catfishing energy with you. Relationships or partnerships, if you're dealing with, uh, you should be FaceTiming people, you should be Zooming people. Uh, whatever sort of connections you got going on, uh, who are you dealing with exactly? What exactly is that vibe all about? So don't let your emotions overwhelm you. Because once the emotions overwhelm you, then that sort of changes the whole dynamic of something. No unnecessary risk. And this isn't like uh, this isn't like doom and gloom type vibes either. This is a uh, look at things and being very realistic as well. I feel like the universe wants to work on your behalf, but at the same time, you need to learn to just sort of sit down and focus on you. Scorpios, those of you, uh, if you watch like the survivalist type TV shows, you like uh, anything along that lines, right? Some of y'all, the TV show Lost, uh, this is like the survivor shows or where they do like the competition uh, those of you that like things like that, this is kind of almost the energy you need to be in, but minus all the drama. 
So this is like a survivor energy. It's uh, learning to read the energy, learning to trust the vibrations of something. Being aware of what you need to be aware of. So you're paying attention to the signs. Some of you, this is going to be about learning to trust your intuition as well. So some of you could be trying to do that. So maybe you're trying to get away from tarot and just sort of trust your own vibes. So some of you could not be watching as much tarot or you're very mindful. Uh, so when you get the instincts, that's when you pay attention. Some of y'all are learning to sort of read the energy anyway. There is, there is like no shortcut energy on this. That's what uh, it sort of makes the vibe with you. So you're paying attention to what you need to. Definitely watch your favorite astrologer. I love the Scorpio. You have double Scorpio energy. You got the Virgo vibes there. I love that. But damn. You guys just like the flash floods energy. So don't let yourself be overwhelmed emotionally or get to the point where you're feeling overwhelmed. King of Swords to the Ace of Swords. There's the Knight of Wands. There's the Queen of Pentacles. There's the Ace of Cups over the Eight of Cups. King of Wands to the Strength card to the Five of Wands. So Leo vibes could have been important to you. Some of y'all could be dealing with the Leo sign. <coughs> this is like pay attention to what you need to pay attention to. The color red could definitely be important to you. This is don't disregard... Uh, like basic common sense vibes. So that way you don't get distracted. Who's like watching a lot of those? Uh, what's those where they put them on the island and they kind of do that? So some of y'all, maybe you're going to audition for something like that. Or that could be something that you're interested in. But you shouldn't get overwhelmed with it at the same time. This almost feels like someone's trying to play you or someone's trying to test you or someone's trying to sort of create a, uh, almost like an illusionary energy when it comes to you as well. Whose allegiance is to who? This is like allegiances. This is like alliances. So if there's a group dynamic to this, some of you are going to be like uh, the odd person out. That actually works to your advantage, though. I don't feel like you're going to be stuck or stagnant because you're waiting on a relationship or partnership or you're waiting on other people's sort of vibes to uh, uh, vibe up. Damn Scorpios. I like if you like zombie movies even. Uh, this is really interesting with you. Knight of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles. Ooh. Who's playing who with this? So this is like allegiances. This is like alliances. Who's working with you? Uh, who's working against who? Who's, who's using who? Definitely good astrology on this. Especially strong Leo vibes and uh, double Scorpio vibes with you. Queen of Pentacles energy here, though, is like the Eight of Pentacles. So there's someone around you that wants to sort of get an opportunity off of you. Damn, I love that Ace of Cups with you. So you're really good at navigating in this energy. That way you don't get overwhelmed. The whole point is someone wants to get you sort of in your feels or get you sort of sidetracked so that they can take advantage of you. This feels like, uh, like the game show vibes. Uh, this could even be like Love Island type energy. 
Um, Scorpios. I feel like you need to choose to do your own thing. Who's choosing sides? What's this sort of allegiance energy about? Oh, there's the Capricorn energy. This is kind of stubborn energy. I feel like you kind of come across in this sort of stubborn vibe. What the fuck is that show? It's been on for hell and ever. Isn't it Survivor? Where they put the people uh, in the location and then they kind of go off and do their own thing. So this is like with a relationship or partnership with you. Some of you, this is just like paying close attention to what you need to pay attention to. Some of you, maybe you need to audition for that show. Uh, Scorpios. Something isn't working because you're like the one that controls the sort of water energy here. So your emotional uh, commitment to this energy is the only way it works. So if you don't fall in love or you don't give emotionally to this situation, something don't work. Definitely be mindful of who you turn your back to as well. So someone's definitely just sort of buddying up to you to get an opportunity off of you. There's like allegiances and alliances here. So this is far more game playing than anything else. I feel like you've overcome so much. So this is like someone's last attempt to try to... Uh, take advantage of you because something's definitely working on your behalf you're navigating this energy so your emotions aren't overwhelming you you're paying attention to what you need to some of y'all your astrology uh whatever this energy is right you like the sherpa climbing uh, mount everest there so you're able to do this i feel like you have more of an overview so you're gonna have to just trust your instincts on this didn't you have virgo vibes yeah. So, don't let everyone know what your sort of vibe is here. Beautiful retrograde energy. Happily single, or at least being mindful of who's in your energy. Some of y'all definitely be mindful of catfish and energy. What is this Capricorn energy with you? Scorpios. I feel like you're single. I feel like you're happily single. I feel like you're just doing you. That's what makes the difference. I don't feel like you're interested in... The, there's the Capricorn there with the Magician energy. I don't feel like you're interested in... Uh, what's the word here? I don't feel like you're going to be gullible. Or you're definitely not going to uh, allow yourself to be overwhelmed. A lot of this is situational awareness. Way too much game playing vibes on this. But some of you, that could be the whole vibe. So... Whatever you got going on. Three of Wands, there with the Page of Wands. There with the Six of Swords. There with the Six of Cups. There with the Four of Wands. There with the Aquarius Star. The Chariot. The King of Cups. The Piscean Moon. And there's the Hierophant Energy. Lord have mercy. Damn, you're pulling such good vibes here. So, stay focused on you. That Hierophant vibe. A 
alliances, allegiances. This is there's so much game playing here, but who's taking advantage of who in a situation? You got Cancer energy there, you got the King of Cups, and then you got the Piscean energy. On top of that, you got the Hierophant vibe. So, someone's really good at emotional manipulation. That's why with that Aquarius star there, you need to not let your emotions overwhelm you. Some of y'all, it's a passionate energy too, so don't get taken advantage of. This is a... Uh, while you're busy washing up, they're going through your purse or your wallet and taking what the hell they need. So there's the judgment vibe. There's the hangman energy. There's the seven of wands. You've overcome so much. You got a good overview here. And someone don't like the fact they can't take advantage of you on an emotional level. This could just be basic scam energy as well. So whatever, whoever you're dealing with, talking to, whatever. FaceTiming, one-on-one -on -one conversations. Some of y'all aren't even focused on that. So a lot of you, that four of cups vibe is actually the best sort of uh, leaving people on red. Some of y'all could be dealing with a, a sort of a sketchy uh, Sagittarius vibe. Who is working with who when it comes to this? So there's like... There's more than one, but it, it's not like a dramatic energy. So, some of y'all get out of the fucking overly dramatic vibes. If this is a work situation, some of y'all romance vibes here. Uh, and basically dating. So, someone could not be single. Some of y'all just getting played. This is not, watch out for the random hookups. So, you don't get taken advantage of there. Absolutely zero unnecessary risks. This is all about situational awareness. So if you like uh, any of the TV shows or anything like that, where it shows, uh, it's like game playing vibes. How for some of you, this could be what you learned in like fucking video games. I don't know your life, but it's kind of like in real life version here. Don't, don't fall in love with the dancer, you know? It's kind of like that. Something only works if you uh, drink the Kool-Aid. Something only works if you're emotionally attached to something. No, oh, that's the Four of Swords. Trusting your gut, your guidance, and your intuition on this. So, before you travel, pay attention to the weather. Before you do anything, pay attention to what you need to pay attention to. Uh, anything new, be mindful of what you need to be paying attention to. No, like, sort of wishy-washy energy on this. Some of y'all be mindful of those random hookups. Some of y'all be mindful who offers you a drink. Because you had the Ace of Cups there. I think you're good. So, some of y'all, uh, you're, you're good. Right? So do be mindful of that. There could be a, a sketchy Sagittarius energy. So someone could be trying to take advantage of you or use you to sort of take advantage of another situation. So someone could be trying to make you jealous. So this is someone that's going to post every sort of uh, opportunity that you have. Or someone's trying to get your attention to create some sort of friendship, partnership, or relationship. To make someone else jealous. With the Piscean energy there, you got the Cancerian energy. Uh, there you got Aquarius vibes. And you had the Capricorn energy there, so damn. Someone's like trying to wear you down. The Six of Swords there at the Seven of Wands. So you, you're doing really good. And you've definitely been doing really good so far. But some of you, someone needs you to sort of drink the Kool-Aid or take some sort of opportunity in. Somehow there could be a sketchy fucking Sagittarius you need to be mindful of. No drama with you. You don't need it.
I feel like you watch any of them shows. Some of y'all, this could be Love Island for you. Some of y'all, this could be any of the Survivor shows they got out there. Some of y'all, this could be a competition. Some of y'all, when it comes to this relationship or partnership, there's almost someone wants to create some sort of competitive vibe when it comes to you and maybe someone there with. It's not a, it's not a good energy. So you're better off just sort of doing your own thing here. Definitely be mindful of randoms. Damn Scorpios. Absolutely zero drama for you. You don't need it. Zero drama, no unnecessary risks. Whatever you're doing, be mindful of. So you know what to expect. This is like idle energy. So, damn. No drama, you don't need it. Uh, don't let your emotions overwhelm you. That's that emotional manipulation. So I don't know that this codependency is you or someone else is using you to make their codependent situation uh, work. So someone could be trying to use you to make somebody else jealous. Be mindful of the fake-ass energies who's trying to associate with you as well. I don't know, whatever your favorite, like, survivor type of... Uh, it's like the, the competitive vibes. You know what I mean? So that's that sort of... Uh, it kind of is what it is. Oh, she got her head in the clouds. And some of God's greatest gifts are unanswered prayers. I like the uh, spiderweb vibes on that. So any of those where they eat like weird ass shit. <laughs> some of y'all, there's like a Sagittarius energy. Or a fire sign energy you need to be mindful of. So take what's yours and leave what the fuck is up. I don't feel like you're dating. Some of you, that's what makes the difference. You're not dating. So, uh, I don't feel like it's lack of opportunities. You're just, uh, that's just not what you're focused on right now. I feel like the Capricorn energy, you're far more focused on you. This is learning, growing, understanding. It can, it, people want to give it a negative vibe, but this is just you're focused on what's important. So, you know, whatever you're doing... And whatever that sort of philosophy is with you, uh, Scorpios. Especially those of you that like spiders or you don't mind spiders. You know, some people hate the fuck out of spiders and some people don't really give a shit. I feel like that makes the difference. There should be like zero sort of uh, uh, effect on you. If you're a praying person, uh, Scorpios, for fuck's sake, stay prayed up. Stay optimistic with something. Like seriously, no drama on this. So, stay away from the drama. This is being prepared so you're paying attention. Situational awareness is anything you're doing. Watch the weather. Uh, you know, wear the proper clothes. Do what you need to do.
Street smart energy on this too. So be mindful of the random hookups. Some y'all be mindful if someone needs help that you don't get taken advantage of as well. This is as much common sense as anything else is, uh, goes when it comes to this with you, Scorpios. Whatever you do, don't freak the fuck out and don't allow yourself to feel like really overwhelmed. So those of you that have a tendency to do that, this is kind of like whatever comes your way, just sit there, stay focused, and don't get overwhelmed. Because the whole point is that you get overwhelmed. Some of y'all could be doing some sort of training. That Capricorn energy could be a coach, a teacher. Uh, if you're taking any sort of classes or lessons, this could be like a good opportunity to learn and grow. It's so you, you kind of stay focused on yourself. Some of you, if you're like wanting to do like scuba diving or something like that as well, this could be where you get to that point where you have to kind of overcome your fears. The thing is that you just, you just kind of go with the flow. So, you know you, take what's yours and leave what's not. Don't allow yourself to get overwhelmed with this. Because the Capricorn could be a teacher vibe. I feel like if you like spiders or you don't really give a fuck, I feel like this is like your sort of energy. Some of y'all dealing with a Sagittarius energy or, or some sort of fire sign energy that you need to be mindful of because the that's almost like a, that's that, something that's going to lead you into an opportunity that isn't so good. Be mindful of the randoms as well. It's a fertile energy too, so uh, be mindful of your family planning. Good luck, God bless, take what's yours, uh, leave what's not. I love this. The fact is, no, don't, don't get overwhelmed. So, some of y'all, this could be what you're learning. Capricorn is like patience energy too. This could be like teacher energy, guru energy. This is good coaching energy as well. So it's, it's very interesting. It's a lot of basic just self-awareness. Some of y'all could be doing the cold plunges. Uh, what is it like Wim, Wim Hof that does the cold plunge? Uh, whatever this sort of inspiration is with you. Those of you that don't mind spiders... Definitely watch your favorite astrologer. So this could be an interesting astrological uh, lesson for you too. And if you're a praying person, stay prayed up. Or at least give your thanks. Mm. Good luck, God bless, take what's yours, and leave the rest, Scorpios. Peace, love, and light.